Okay. Just to uh, recap, go over some of the theories of what we did yesterday and the day before. And of course, we will talk about what is it that we are supposed to be doing uh, after the, uh, the uh, program. I'll just qu go quickly over this. So, remember what we said about about this very important, very important uh, parameters, very important essentials in this program. The first one, we want to realize the full potential of the people. The second one, we want to identify the opportunities. Okay, remember this. We want you, after, of course, going deep and trying to get the the treasures that you have, we want you to make sure you identify opportunities of da'wah that you can share knowledge, the third one, share knowledge of Islam with, with the people, and learn how to communicate ideas, learn how to communicate ideas, and lead self, and lead also the team. Most importantly, when you do something, you need to have quality, search for something innovative, something creative in the field of da'wah. So you shouldn't be treating da'wah as if it is, you know, something wishy-washy, mishihalak. No, it is something very quality because Islamic quality is the best quality. So we need to make sure that we deal with it in quality. And of course, it's very important to understand that we need to reach in our communication to being yourself being spontaneous and being quick-witted, leading situations and leading the people who are going to deal with you. Now, remember this ship that I mentioned at the beginning? I'm recapping. Just remember this ship. We are on this ship. You have to learn everything in this ship. All these skills that you see, all these competencies that you see so that you can reach to this society, knowledge society that we call we call what knowledge society in cross-cultural communication to present Islam. So this is basically all the model. This is the most important model that you need to always keep in your mind. Keep it in your mind. So it doesn't mean when you finish now with me, that's the end of it. You need to make sure this model is in front of you. you I've already sent this to you. I'll share it again on the group WhatsApp. Always have this model with you because everything in this model has has a workshop by itself, by the way. So it's it's really a very important model. But the most important thing in this model is that you need to develop teams that work together, learn together, evaluate each other together, uh, think together, and meet together to also improve these competencies and skills while improving their Islamic English to present Islam in the best way to the whole world. You know, and not just to present, to lead in presenting Islam, to lead in communicating Islam in the best way. So this model is a must, is a must know. I'm, I deliberately repeat it. People, they sometimes they just look at it like that. No, I always repeat this model because this model is basically is like if you, you want an academy, you want to establish an academy, it's a must to have this model. If you want to write a curriculum, it's a must to have this model. If you want to write, if you want to have a kindergarten even, it's must to have this model. And these are the goals. Again, I'm repeating the goals. You know, the main goals, developing global leadership from within to present Islam, the Islamic Elizabeth on the move, forming communities of commitment through the concept called self-directed learning teams. Okay? Now, these are the Objectives again, I don't want to go through these objectives. I'm just showing this to you because I'm going to start now a process. And this is, the, this is the environment I'm trying to create in the world. As simple as this. Repeating myself again and again. Some people attended with me hundreds of times. But I'm deliberately because you need to do that. If you really want to produce a, a, a society, knowledge society, in cross-cultural communication to present Islam, you need to have this going on. You're speaking about something very professional. All that stuff that you see in front of you, big companies and 
the best companies in the world, they have this environment to develop their people. So it's very important always to keep these models with you. Now, the third model that I will show you, or the, or the fourth, is this model. Okay, I'm collecting all these models because these are very important models. Again, it's the same model before, but this is in a different way. How can you reach, how can you reach this cross-cultural communication or uh, community? Okay, you saw, the, you saw the seeds of competencies through, through forming teams, which, are, which we call self-directed learning teams. Imagine, uh, sorry, remember, self-directed, there is a direction. They know their direction very quickly, and they work together. They work to improve their Islamic English. They work to improve their competencies. They work to improve their skills. They work to improve their relationship. They work to improve the respect amongst them. They work to, to really, and, and their intention is very, very clear. Okay? And we saw the seeds there. Then this, in the process, they grow. We prune. We reap. And we reap this society, knowledge society, in cross-cultural communication. And in the process, we develop the leadership and the communication. And the learning is continuous, you know, while presenting Islam to other people. So this is not just a model for you to have a college or a, a, a school. No, it is continuous model while you are doing Dao, you know. So it's not just a model while you are just sitting in a school, learning a school or a classroom. No, it is a model that needs to go with you. If you have an organization, this model is a must-have, okay? And you have another model, which you... This model, the other model is what you need to think about it. So basically, you develop yourself, you continue developing yourself, while at the same time developing others. You need to look at the big picture. You need to build teams. You need to always work in collaborative team so that you can you develop leadership always so that you can lead. That's another model. All these models are very important. I, of course, that's another model for learning. This tells you that learning is not only one, it's not just IQ, no. If you write a curriculum, you have to be very careful because, you know, when you write a curriculum or you do a program or you do a university or you design instruction, you have to make sure you take or you put into or you take into your account that human being who is in the front of you is not just a mind, it's not just intellect, it's not IQ. There is emotion, there is continual learning, there is emotional learning, there is kinesthetic learning, there is reflective learning, and yesterday we had reflective internal communication, remember. There is recreational learning, there needs to be some recreation, some uh, entertainment, there is feeling learning, there is expressive learning, there is creative learning, and of course, over all of this, there is, this is what we want to drill down, there is self-directed learning. So if you want really to learn, right? If you really want to design programs, right? If you want to do a university or a college or an academy or whatever you want to call it, you have to make sure you always put these aspects of learning in front of you. You know, if you write, because the activities will depend on that. Everything you do will depend on these aspects of learning. So that's, it's called the holistic type of learning. They call it what? Holistic type of learning. Okay. Uh, and that's what they teach these days. I mean, that's what they want to do. And that's very important to take into account all these aspects of learning to cater for what? The individual differences amongst the people because people are different. Somebody might be strong intellectually from the mind, somebody who's strong kinesthetically, somebody who's strong emotionally, social em emotional intelligence. You know, all of these are uh, need to be taken into account when we do curriculum. And this is another model. Uh, I'm not going to talk the, about this model a lot, but basically uh, you need to, if you really want to develop learning, um, uh, leadership, communication, you need to go up more. The upper you go, the upper you go, that means you're going to build leaders. If you stay to lecturing, you're not going to be building leaders. No way. If you want the knowledge and the information to be retained, you have to go up. You know, you have to apply all these types of learning, uh, sorry, all these activities, the methods, till you reach to the last one, which is teaching others. 
If you really want people to be leaders, they need to teach what they have learned right away. بلغوا أني ولو آية. If you know one ayah right away, immediately, immediately you you teach that one 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 ayah. You don't wait. This is called leadership right away. So you develop leadership from it. So you have five arrows that are very important. If you go up, that means you need to train your teachers in facilitation and mentoring and coaching. If you go up, that means you will be developing the competencies. If you go up, that means you will be developing leadership and communication. If you go up, that means the retention of knowledge is much, much, much better. If you go up, that means you are empowering people and you are respecting people and you're respecting the talents of people. But if you just stay in lecturing and reading, this is the worst type of teaching. This is the worst type of just sitting and with the sheikh and just raise, uh, shaking your hand, uh, head like that without having an actual project-based type of learning, doing something yourself. These are data points, Sheikh, or a YouTube, or a book. These are data points. But if you don't actualize and become practical about them and turn them into projects, that means you are going backward instead of forward. This is why, if you go up, this is why we have this one. You see this model? This is why we have something called project-based learning. So if you learn, and you do all of these things without having a project in your mind or in your vision, that's not what you want. That's not, it's just a waste of time. You're wasting your time. Because if I'm here from Nigeria or Sierra Leone or from India or Pakistan or from these countries and from Saudi Arabia or from any country, I need to think of a project that will help Islam. I need to think of a project. And this is why in Lanud, when we did these projects, we wanted people at least to be focused on something so that they can do it on their own later on. You know, project-based learning. So you don't just learn for the sake of learning. No, you should be leading a project. You should be communicating your project to other people. You should be learning to improve your project. You should be, you should be doing everything to make sure that this project is a reality. It might not happen, but at least you put, you, you've sown the seeds in your community. So somebody else, you might not do it, somebody else might come and pick it up from there and run with the project. Am I clear? Today I'm being very theoretical. You wouldn't see me in this way, but the, some people made me f do this today, to talk like this. Uh, now, okay, so, so this is, these are the most important models if you want to create or design a program, or instruction, or nurseries, or colleges, or universities. Now, this is what we talked about. I'll jump this in. Now, after we finish here, remember, after we finish here, this is exactly what we need people to do. You, we're supposed to, you are with me here for three days online, okay? Uh, this is supposed to be online, even the people who they are supposed to. And we've covered, we're supposed to have covered 12 hours. Now, after the 12 hours, there is, or there are some assignments that we'd like people to take on board. Now, you can take it on your own, or you can take it with a team. Preferably, we need you to do it with a team. Now, what are this, this is like first day, first week, you get together, and this is the first week, the second week, the third week, the fourth week, and these are some of the activities that you're supposed to be doing. So that's basically a sketch or a schedule of what everybody is supposed to be doing. Now we have, what are you supposed to be cooking up? It's, it's gonna exactly be the same as the three days with me, here, like yesterday and the day before yesterday. You will be cooking up some cross-cultural communication. Now. Yesterday, we had, we cooked maybe three or four messages. No. During the eight week or the eight week program, uh, we want to cook up about 30 to 40 messages. Clear? So the first thing is that you meet, maybe you, you form a team. When you form a team, three or four, and if you, if you don't have a team, do it. Don't wait for somebody. On your own, you can have a team, three or four, Kamal is here, Yusuf is here, they did it, some of them did it before. So basically, you form a team, three, 
and you start reading in the same way we taught you yesterday using the kids communication and learning letter so you have to go through the steps you have to go through the steps about maybe 10 to 13 steps and you cook up these cross-cultural communication messages you cook up these cross-cultural communication messages 30 to 40 now what do you do with these 30 and 40 messages you meet three non-muslim that's one thing you use these messages with them three non-muslim face to face if possible if it's not possible face to face online okay that's one now after cooking up now what is it that you use for this cooking up these messages already you know this the exhibits the youtubes the brochures the books and the pamphlets we gave you so basically you need to decide on your topics okay then you prepare this you do 30 to 40 messages you meet three non-muslim and this is one activity the other activity you share every message every day on your own in your social media like what we said during the two days so we're supposed to be sharing these messages all over the world through any any any, any means of social media twitter facebook whatever so you don't leave these messages with you confined in your uh, in your notebook no you have to share them that's one thing so sharing continuous sharing on the social media meeting three non-muslim and also preparing a presentation for the final day so it should be eight weeks eight weeks preparing a powerpoint presentation for any anticipated or imagined or maybe you have an audience a non-muslim audience so you are supposed to be preparing on powerpoint a presentation for 15 minutes that's another project for, uh, during the eight weeks now who decides the eight week when to start it is you who decides maybe i can start after a week from after one week from finishing the program depending on your time and flexibility okay so you have to uh, make sure that you have a team if you can two to th uh, let us say three minimum four or five maximum and you because remember one of the objectives is what to have communities of commitment a team self-directed learning teams so it's it's better to have a team if you don't or if you can't you do this on your own you still can cook up your own messages so these are some of the activities that you're supposed to be doing during and I'll, I'll show this then. now if you look at here this is exactly what i said exactly what i said i'm just repeating myself here so you have form your team no more than five meet at least once a week once a week you meet with your team that's no more than that online and if you have them close to you you can have a face-to-face -face meeting decide on the location this is you decide nobody will tell you where you decide on the location then of course you are supposed to use the communication recipe what is a communication recipe the kids communication letter and all all of what you see the brochures that you have youtube that you have already this is what you cook these are your ingredients for the, your dishes cross-cultural communication when i say dishes i mean the messages and this is exactly what you are supposed to be doing the same thing i've mentioned okay some of the articles you use, you cook up messages, 30, you use the exhibits and the pamphlets, you meet non-Muslim, you use the social media. And of course, after you finish all of that and you submit a report to all of us, okay, uh, we usually award a certificate. We usually award a certificate in partnership with this time with Usul maybe, or maybe we find another training center. Any, uh, so that's basically it. And this is, again, just in a different way okay doc and this is the kids communication this is the recipe that you're supposed to be using the same thing we did yesterday and the day before yesterday everything is here is this difficult guys the same thing what we did yesterday and the day before so this is your recipe for cooking up your messages using all the materials and the links that we have given you you see till the end and that's basically what I have to say because, and this is exactly the eight week and the title of each week. And everything is spelled out. Now, what do you do each week? You go here, this is the first week. 
the activity, okay? And these are the assignments. The second week, the same thing. So everything is spilled out very meticulously and in details for you here. And this is the third week. And this is the fourth week. And, and this is the fifth. Exactly what you do. Okay? Till you reach to the eighth week. That's it. And after that, you say, خلاص, you run with that. You learn the methodology and it becomes part of your uh, learning and projects in the future. Very simple. Everything is there. Now remember, this is only level one. The methodology is there, but the levels are more. You could use, we have more content. We have content about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu We have content about the art of conveying the message. We have content about clear your doubts about Islam. We have content about and about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi you have two levels. About this project, you can have two levels, so eight weeks and eight weeks if you want. Depends on you. But of course, what we require from all, what we require of all, of all the participants, only at least to finish, to finish doing the same thing in the three days for a period of eight weeks. Not uh, continuously. You meet two hours, you do assignment two hours. So basically, four hours every week, you need to spend it for this, uh, for da'wah. Imagine four hours just for da'wah. You cook up your messages, you read, and after that you share on the social media, and you meet three non-Muslim, and you prepare your representation for non-Muslim. And we've given you all the criteria, communication criteria. I already sent it to you. So you see, it's not really a big deal. So you're talking about two hours every week meeting, and two hours doing the cooking of these messages. And during all these four hours, you are sharing in the social media and you are preparing yourself for these uh, da'wah encounters. Any question, any question here? Any question here? Mm? No. Uh, Shifa, I think we'll, we'll give, uh, what time is it now? I think. What time is it now? Yeah. Uh, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing the same process like yesterday, but this time it has to be faster. It has to be faster. We'll take, we'll choose, uh, this time we'll choose the book of Dr. Naji al arfaj Okay? We have three or seven books, booklets. I've already sent you this. So we need to send the link now. Send the link. Send the link. I want... Everyone, whether you are on the platform or whether you are here, I want you to choose one booklet that is related to your topic yesterday and the day before yesterday. Send the link, please. Hello, Shifa, I don't see it. Yes. Where is the link? I already sent it to you, by the way, today. Do you have it? It's already in the... Huh? discoverislam.com you already have it i already sent it today yes, yes. It is in the chat. where is it i don't see it in the chat is it i don't see it here in the chat um, okay okay yeah but it's not no no that's not the one no this is, it does not uh, this doesn't work okay i can see. where is it not not this is islam sheikha just no, 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 no. You are sending the wrong one. Okay. You're sending the wrong one. I already sent it today. I'll send it to you now. In the... Okay, again. Shifa? Yes. Okay. Where are you now? Let me just... Uh... Send the link, please. Do you have it? Which one are you sending now? I already sent it today to everybody. You already have it. The new link about discover. No, not this one. This is the Zoom. 